let's look at the third way to install bootstrap into your project so this is the npm way npm or yarn way so if you are uh, using something like uh, js framework like react angular view Svelte, or something like that this is very useful npm install bootstrap right all your you're already using npm package manager so all you have to use this npm install bootstrap our project is not ready for it so what we can do is one of the ways to do is we can run npm make it an npm project so i'll do npm init that will ask me a couple of questions here package name bootstrap app version description i can skip it entry point index.js fine test command nothing get repository nothing as of now get keywords nothing author nothing or i can avoid all this okay and is it okay yes it is absolutely okay okay so i've got this package.json new file installed it has got some details about the application now i can do is npm install bootstrap okay once i do that it is installing bootstrap just like this i followed the step npm install bootstrap npm you can see a new folder here you can see package dot package lock dot json this is a locked version of the uh, this so need not understand much about it it is just for security reasons that uh, this one locks it and node modules is a new folder you can see since i installed a package it is installed into node modules it adds popper js it adds bootstrap bootstrap is using popper so it's already installed and it has got jss it has got scss it has got all of this right and now if i want to use it right now if i want to use it what i'll be doing is i'll go to html index.html these files these links won't work anymore this will of course work this is cdn but if I say want to use this, this will also work since I'm keeping this CSS and JS file, I can delete this. Okay. And what I can do is I can add link rel is equal to style sheet. Okay. href what I will do node modules node underscore modules slash bootstrap slash I'll go, go into SCSS dist. Can I go into dist? I can go into dist. So this is dist is basically the output files. So internally it might be written to SCSS but uh, it also converts all of this code into normal css and stores it in, inside of dust okay inside of dust i can do then i can simply copy this right after dust i can copy this say if i want a minified version of it let me look what is the minified version of it min i'll just add dot min in front of it okay so that is done with my css let me check with my js so for my js again i'll add node module up till dist i'll add in front of this okay and let me see js and after that js dot bootstrap dot bundle dot js right so that's what it is and now i'm going to save this and see if it runs properly i'm going to refresh this oh it's working perfectly well right so if you can see min dot css bundle dot js files are being delivered to the client as well 
Uh, and this time around, it's, it's inside of node modules because I've used NPM package manager to do it, right? So if you are a package, if you have a package manager, if you're using bigger projects, then you can do this. For uh, the rest of the tutorial, I'm going to delete this, all of this, because we do not quite need it. It's not a React project or any of the other JS framework projects, nerd modules also, I'll delete it entirely. Uh, index, I'll keep it to this basics, I'll remove this, file, this test that we had put in, right? I'll just remove it and I'll uncomment this one, the old one, the very first one that we tried. And we are going to keep this for the next of, uh, rest of the tutorial. Okay, let's just call index.html again and see if it's working fine. It's working fine, right? All right, see you in the next one.